All right, guys, so we own the HVAC unit. Uh, the guy told me that the AC wasn't going. He came out here, he started bumping on his fan and it started running. But I'm in some weather right now. Should have me a dang umbrella. This is a carrier unit. Said this was number two right here. Um, if he said he bumped it and it started working, then probably just check my capacitors and all that, verify it, and then turn it back on. Lower the thermostat in there so the unit can kick on. All right, guys, so I set the thermostat. The area is indicating 68, so I set it lower to 65. So let's see if the unit is uh, running. It's probably going to have a delay. All right, guys, so I got the bolts off. I got bubble wrap for my Western A. Uh, you can see the contactor is pulled. Check this uh, capacitor. Anyway, he said he had a bang on it for it to run. So we got 245 there. Let's see if we're getting it on the top side. And we got 245 going through the top side. All right. Got to use my bubble wrap. But contactor is pulled in. So let's just check this bad sucker right here. Yeah, I, all I hear is some humming. I don't know, maybe I... I just hear some humming. Just check this uh, capacitor and go from there. All right, guys, right now I'm removing these wires off uh, the capacitor. Um, we got uh, compressor wire, fan wire, and the wire off the um, supply side. Be very careful. I got the contact to pull it in right now because I got it on at the thermostat. But uh, if you want to be more comfortable, turn it off at the thermostat. Because um, if you short something, you might have to go to the indoor unit to change that fuse. You don't want to do that. You know, let's get this bad boy out. Right here, got a little bulge on it. Let's see. Yeah, let's just test it out. It's 35 plus 7.5 microfarads. What I like about this meter, I can check the capacity. So many years. Check from here. Alright, guys, I ain't getting nothing from this capacitor at all. Nothing. I'm not getting nothing from her. All right, guys, as y'all can see, I am in my van right now in the back of it. Uh, finna see if I got this uh, capacitor. We are not getting nothing at all. It's already bulged too uh, on the top side and the bottom side. Um, so hopefully I got a capacitor. I checked from uh, the common, the fan, the common, the home. I'm not getting like nothing at all. Um, so I'm gonna get a new capacitor. And I should get have a reading. Hopefully, I got this one. If not, I'm right down the uh, road from the shop, so it's just like a few turns. Uh, turns. I'm at a uh, city hall uh, doing an air conditioner. I changed the filters and all that before. Uh, never did a maintenance or nothing, but it's a it's fairly new. Been here a couple years. Um, they got a they got carrier units, uh, 
So it's pretty neat what they have. Um, I made a short. I think that one got the most uh, uh, views and all that. But I made a short just changing the carrier air filter. Uh, so go back. Uh, I have a short. Um, this is the city hall right here. Um, but yeah, let's change this uh, capacitor. Uh, let's get this unit back going. As y'all have seen, the contactor is pulled in. Um, the thermostat is demanding cooling. Uh, it's indicating that the space was 68. Like I said, the guy said he banged on it. I guess they went to work in and it cooled down his space. But, you know, um, at least he tried something, you know? Alright guys, so I got run capacitors, but I don't have uh, that type. I thought I did. Well, I do have... I do have the uh, t Turbo 2000 ones, but I don't want to use. Use that one, just keep that just in case. But right down the road, probably need to stock up on some. Um, so, I'm surprised I even have one. That's kind of crazy. But I got uh, all the other. Do I have them? I got a lot of these right here. These are the type I have. I don't have this. Anyway, luckily I'm down the road just to grab something and stock up on some, just to have some. So I would never know when I would need it. Anyway, I think we're under like a, a tornado watch too, because um, my area where I was staring, where I'm staring at, had like a flood warning and all that. So I'm like, shit. Alright, I'm here. Alright guys, got a capacitor just that fast. I'm gonna go with the 45. Ain't had uh, the 35 uh, plus seven and a half, but it's about the same and all that. So this one should do fine. Um, just swap it out real quick, make sure the compressor and all that kick on and uh, go from there. Alright guys, as y'all can see, I got a reading. If I go from common to fan. Got a reading there. Now on this one. Nothing. All right, so let's put this new capacitor in. Quick. See if I can shield it. This is 14 now. As you can see, contact is still pulled in. Um, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna put this in, so I'm gonna uh, get back with y'all. Guys, right now I had to relocate this. Be very careful. Make sure you ain't going into no coil, which I ain't on this side. Really, that's the way I did it, y'all. So right now what I'm going to do is put this blue wire. Make sure your power is off. Put this blue wire on her. Excuse my French, y'all. I ain't cuss. I didn't cuss. I didn't cuss. I did not cuss. All right. Got brown old fan. I probably just lower this down just a little bit. Let's see if I can. Hey, can it even lower down for me? There we go. I can't work with that.
I can work with that. I know you ain't gonna better see the label, but I can work with that. Oh yeah. I should run that underneath. Okay. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it. So we're gonna test her out. Alright guys, more of truth, we got everything put back together. Got the old one right here. I hear compressor. Oh yeah, she getting cold. But anyway, uh, if you're gonna screw in any screws, make sure you're not hitting the coil or nothing. Um, but y'all see if that's too high, uh, she is running that capacitor right here, which is bad. I really ain't had to test it and all that, honestly. It's, it's bulged up top and bulged at the bottom. It's just like a car battery, really. That's all it is. If you look at it that way, but we had uh you know voltage coming in our contactor was pulled in which was called from the thermostat and uh we still have voltage going to the compressor and the fan but now it wasn't going on so had to go towards um the capacitor checked it out wasn't getting any readings added a new one and uh yeah that's pretty much it we just got got it right here now Guys, I'm literally, literally getting soaked for y'all. I'm just trying to give y'all much footage and all that too. Some of you gonna be like, man, get your behind out the rain. Sight glass should clear up, yeah. This thing cold as hell. Not like a good carrier unit. guys so that's gonna be pretty much it we just had a uh, bad capacitor uh, the guy he told me that uh, another unit had a bad capacitor not too long ago um, but I glad it was something simple and easy um, just a bad capacitor that's all it was nothing uh, crazy uh, really didn't have to hook up no gauges or anything of that nature I uh, set the thermostat back to 70. That's where they uh, keep it at. Um, I lowered it to about 65 so uh, we can have it cooling and all that. Fan and all that works. I know when I set it back, it kicked off because the thermostat was uh, uh, satisfied. So uh, I heard it shut off and all that once I changed it back. But um, I think them you I forgot how uh, it's a big behind attic. I think it's a lot of space up there. I think one of the units it's like in a crappy space. No, 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 no. Them uh, indoor units got you got you got good space. You got good, pretty good, good space. It's a big behind attic, but um, you got. You got good space it could be uh kind of cramped though trying to go through uh the i guess the trusses um, but overall it ain't that bad but anyway if y'all tuning in i hope y'all consider subscribing like the video share with your friends family whoever and uh finna see what's next but man it's raining and all that really bad been raining bad lately so I'm going to make sure I stay safe out here. And uh, yeah, I'll see y'all. Peace. And uh, let me know y'all thoughts down below. Uh, let me know if y'all had to work in the rain before. Um, 
Let me know if y'all use an umbrella. Let me know if y'all didn't. Um, just let me know some of y'all experiences and stuff. What, what was like the uh, worst experience uh, y'all had to go through on the air conditioner? Uh, did y'all had to go through some heavy rain? Try to go to like a late night call, something like that, you know. Let me know something. And uh, let me know uh, what's your favorite thing about uh, the HVAC uh, on the residential side or commercial. Uh, let me know what's your favorite thing. Uh, let me know. But anyway, that's it.